Hi viewers, today we will solve the first sum of chapter 9 triangles congruency in triangles. Before solving the problem, let's understand what is congruency in triangles. See, two triangles are congruent if all of their corresponding sides and angles are equal in measure. So, if we have two triangles, when two triangles have the same shape and size, if both the triangles have same shape and size, those triangles are called congruent triangles. For example, these triangles. See, this is congruent triangle. When both have this, both have same shape and size, right? That's why these two triangles, this triangle is called congruent triangle. Now, let's solve the first question. Which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent in each case? State the condition of congruency. So, this is the first question, right? We have to read the question and answer whether these triangles are congruent or not. If yes, then we have to state the condition also. So, what are the conditions? We will learn it. So, the first condition here is SAS. What is SAS? Side angle side. Now the second condition here is ASA. What is ASA? Angle side angle. Now third condition. So the third condition here is AAS. Angle angle side. Now the fourth condition is SSS. SSS means side side side. Both all the three sides should be same. Now, this is the fifth condition. The fifth condition here is RHS, right angle hypotenuse side. What is hypotenuse? The longest, longest side of the right angle triangle is called hypotenuse. So, this is the longest side, right? So, the longest side is called hypotenuse. Both the hypotenuse sides are same. So, both RHS, right angle hypotenuse sides. If both the triangles are same in shape and size, that means those are congruent. Now, let's solve the first question. Let's solve the A question. In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF and B, angle B is equal to angle E. So, here for understanding purpose, let's draw two triangles. So, these are the two triangles. Now, they are telling in triangle ABC. So, let's name them A, B and C. The other triangle here is triangle DEF, right? Let's name them D, E, F here. They are telling angle here. AB. AB is equal to DE. So, AB is equal to DE, right? We will put one line here. AB is equal to DE. Here, AB is equal to DE. This is given, right? It is given in the question. Now, next, they are telling BC is equal to EF here. BC is equal to EF. So, BC is equal to EF, right? BC is equal to EF. Even this is given. Now, the third they are telling and angle B is equal to angle E. Angle B is equal to angle E. Here angle B is equal to angle E. Even this is given in the question, right? Now we have to see whether they are congruent or no. They are congruent, right? So triangle A, B, C is congruent so this is the sign of the congruent to which triangle triangle def so we'll write a triangle def under which condition they told us to state the condition right so under which condition by s a s congruency congruency by SS congruency because both the sides are equal, both the angles are equal and even the sides are S, A, S. Now let's solve the B question. Here they are telling 
in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Angle B is equals to angle E is equals to 90 degree. AC is equals to DF and BC is equals to AF. So to understand this, let's draw two right angle triangle. Why right angle triangle? Because it is telling 90 degrees. So let's draw two right angle triangle. Now here we drew a right angle triangle. Now in triangle ABC, let's name them triangle A, B, C. And the next triangle is triangle D, E, F, right? Now angle B is equals to angle E, which is 90 degrees. So angle B is equals to 90 degree and angle E is equals to 90 degree, right? Let's name them triangle A, B and C. Triangle A, B, C is equals to triangle D, E, F here. Now, here angle B. Angle B is equals to angle E, which is 90 degree, right? Given. Even this is given in the question, right? Now, what is the next statement they are telling? Angle I. AC is equals to DF, right? So, AC is equals to DF. AC is equals to DF. AC is equals to DF. Even this is given in the question. Now what is the next statement they are telling? And BC is equals to EF. BC is equals to EF. So BC is equals to EF. Even this is given. So here triangle ABC, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF under which condition we have to state the condition. Here this is the longest side, so this is hypotenuse. So under which condition they do, do they are, the under which condition we will apply here? So the condition here is RHS. Why RHS? Right angle hypotenuse side because this is right angle triangle so by rhs congruency now let's solve the third question third part of the first question in triangle abc and triangle qrp ab is equals to qr angle b is equals to r and angle c is equals to p so here for the third part we do two triangles triangle ABC and triangle QPR, right? So, the question here is, in triangle ABC and QRP, AB is equals to QR. So, AB is equals to QR. AB is equals to QR. Angle B is equals to angle R. So, angle, angle means Angle B is equals to angle R here. Now, the next question, angle C is equals to angle P. So, angle C is equals to angle P. So, triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle Q, P, R. And by con which condition we are applying here? We are applying condition of AAS. What is AAS? By A. A S congruency angle angle side so we are applying A S condition now let's solve the D part of this question in triangle A B C and P Q R A B is equals to P Q and A C is equals to P R and B C is equals to Q R so to understand this let's draw two triangles so this is the diagram triangle ABC PQ R is the triangle right so the question here is in triangle ABC and triangle PQR AB is equals to PQ so AB is equals to PQ let's put one line now AB is equals to PQ AC is equals to PR so AC is equals to PR put two lines over here so, AC is equals to PR. Now, the third question here is angle 
BC is equals to QR. So BC will be three lines. BC is equals to QR. So here all the sides are equal, right? So triangle A B C is congruent to triangle P Q R under which condition by S S S condition congruency because all the three sides are equal. Now let's solve the E part of this question. In triangle ABC and PQR, BC is equal to QR, angle A is equal to 90 degree, angle C is equal to, angle R is equal to 40 degree, and angle Q is equal to 50 degree. Now, these are the two right angle triangle, right? The question says, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, BC is equal to QR, right? So, BC is equal to QR. Angle A is equal to 90 degree. Angle C is equal to, angle R is equal to 40 degree and angle Q is equal to 50 degree. Right? So angle A is equal to 90 degree here. So angle A is equal to 90 degree. Angle C is equal to angle R. So angle C, angle C is equal to angle R. Those two angles are 40 degree and angle Q is equal to 50 degree. So here angle Q is equal to 50 degree. So angle A and angle P is equal to 90 degree here, right? So angles B and C and angle P and Q is same here. Both are, both are equal. So here angle C is equal to angle R. BC is equals to BC is equals to QR. Angle B is equals to angle Q. So here triangle ABC and PQR. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Under which condition? Here we are applying by ASA congruency here will not apply RHS congruency here will apply ASA congruency see angle side angle see angle see angle angles are same here sides and sides are same and other angle even this is an angle right we have two angles here this one this is one angle and this is one angle so angle side angle so we are applying angle side angle congruency condition so that's all for today if you all found it helpful please subscribe like and share thank you for watching